All right, we're at ISRI 2023, and we're on our way to the Shearcore booth. Let's see what the guys are doing in here. As you can see, we've got a few different shears on display. We've got the FS75, which is going to go second member on your 75,000 pound excavator. You know, out at the tip here, we can pierce one and a quarter inch plate, which is pretty dang impressive for a 15, almost 16,000 pound shear. Right here, we've got the FS95, which is a 10 ton shear. And you're going to be able to pierce you know, nearly one and a half inch plate out here at the tip which again is very impressive. I've been selling these shears for you know, 20 years and you know what shears can do today is you know continually amazing me you know because when I was a young man starting to sell these shears this five ton shear here which we call the, the FS45 this this size shear was you know maybe gonna have a shot it's certainly not even going to have a shot at piercing a three-quarter inch plate, but today this thing's piercing almost one inch plate, you know, so how impressive is that for a five-ton shear? So the, the pivot assembly on these shears are much larger, so that that makes a big difference when you're, when you're cutting with a scissors that's asked to do a really tough job. So when you take the bushing off of this 45, walk over to some of the competitors, 10 ton shears, which are twice the size, you're gonna find that this shear uh, has the same size pivot assembly. I mean, how can that not help? You know, we're talking about a, ten, a five ton shear compared to a 10 ton shear. So when you look at our pivot assemblies on these shears, you're gonna find that it's a solid main pin. You know, unlike the other guys that have a, a tie rod here, and have the end cap screw into that tie rod and then the end cap bolts in to the side plate itself. Uh, with us, what you see is what you get at the solid main shaft. So you have a more rigid cutting knife that's going to have a better tolerance over time. And I think we all know what happens when you take a brochure out of the drawer, roll it up real tight, take your handheld scissors out of the drawer, try to cut it, keep doing that all day every day. What are you gonna have? You're gonna have a scissors that's got a terrible tolerance because the bushing has been just, you know, so worn. It's just been, you know, the forces that have been applied to it and have just stretched it. And you can hardly cut a piece of paper anymore. I mean, this is essentially a big scissors. So you gotta do the same thing. So, I mean, we can all pack more punch in at the piercing tip and brag about the things I just did about what it can and can't pierce and give you more cutting power at the apex where the material naturally gathers but have you know but has everybody done what we've done to bolster that added power i would say no i would say that we are certainly the first to use much thicker plate so when you have a six inch wide upper you have a six inch plate that's been milled into a six inch wide upper not a four inch plate and a two inch plate that's laminated when you're laminating steel plate it's not like laminating wood so you know the less pieces you have to weld together, the less stress points you have on these shears. So anybody can pack more punch into these shears and give you more cutting power, but have they bolstered the design with a much bigger diameter main pin for the upper? And do they have half the amount of pieces coming together on their shear like we do with the Fortress mobile shears? That's a question you'll have to ask. And when you're ready to learn more, Please check us out on shearcore.com. See who your rep is in your area and give us a buzz. We've all been doing it a long time. We have a lot of fun doing what we do and we're excited to get to know you.